आई आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी स्टैंड फॉर इंफ्रा रेड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी आई आर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ इंफ्रा रेड रेडिएशन विद मैटर बाय एब्जॉर्बन इमिशन और रिफ्लेक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस डेफिनेशन वेन आई आर रेडिएशन इज इंसिडेंट अपॉन एनी सैम्पल इट रिजल्ट इन ईदर एब्जॉर्बन इमिशन और रिफ्लेक्शन स्टडी ऑफ एब्जॉर्ब रेडिएशन फॉर्म्स द बेसिस ऑफ एब्जॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी वाइल द स्टडी ऑफ इमिशन रेडिएशन फॉर्म्स द बेसिस ऑफ इमिशन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इंफ्रारेड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इज यूज टू स्टडी एंड आइडेंटिफाई केमिकल सबस्टांसिस और फंक्शनल ग्रुप इन सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैसियस फॉर्म्स नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड टाइप ऑफ ट्रांजिशन इन इंफ्रारेड स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी देर आर थ्री मेन टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजिशंस रोटेशनल वाइब्रेशनल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांजिशंस दीज थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांजिशंस अकर्स बिकॉज देर आर थ्री मेन प्रोसेस बाई विच अ मॉलिक्यूल कैन एब्जॉर्ब रेडिएशन and each of these roots involves an increase of energy that is proportional to the light absorbed the first root occurs when absorption of radiation leads to a higher rotational energy level in rotational transition the second root is a vibrational transition which occurs on absorption of quantized energy this leads to an increased vibrational energy level the third root involves electron swap molecules being raised to a higher electron energy which is the electronic transition this diagram is showing three types of transitions in different energy levels each of these transitions differs by an order of magnitude rotational transitions occurs at lower energies and this energy is insufficient and cannot cause vibrational and electronic transitions vibrational and electronic transitions requires higher energies so rotational transitions occurs at longer wavelengths vibrational at near infrared and electronic transitions at ultraviolet region of electromagnetic radiation so now it is clear that vibrational transitions occurs in infrared region of electromagnetic radiation in this picture you can see different regions of electromagnetic radiation these regions are gamma rays x rays ultraviolet infrared and radio waves the region of importance here is infrared next is regions of infrared there are three regions of infrared radiation first one near infrared or overtone region second mid infrared or vibration rotation region and the last one far infrared or rotation region wavelength of radiation in near infrared is in between 0.8 to 2.5 micrometer in wave number domain it is in between 12500 to 4000 cm inverse wavelength of radiation in mid infrared region is in between 2.5 to 50 micrometer in wave number it is in between 4000 to 200 cm inverse in far infrared region wavelength region is in between 50 to 1000 micrometer in wave number it is in between 200 to 10 cm inverse here the most used region infrared spectroscopy utilizes the mid infrared region wavelength used is in between 2.5 to 25 micrometer in wave number it is in between 4000 to 400 cm inverse next is principle of ir spectroscopy when infrared radiation is incident upon a sample of organic compound some of the frequencies are absorbed while others are transmitted plot of absorbance or transmittance versus wave number gives an infrared spectrum most preferred mode in infrared spectroscopy is transmittance mode in this picture you can see an absorption spectra in transmission mode This is the original infrared spectrum of an alcohol 1 butanol. Because infrared spectroscopy deals in determination of functional groups, this spectra contains peaks for OH, CH and CO groups. Combinedly, these three peaks denote the presence of 1 butanol. 
requirements for any compound to absorb infrared radiation. There are two main conditions necessary for any compound to absorb infrared radiation. First is correct wavelength of radiation and second one electric dipole and dipole moment. First of all we will understand correct wavelength of radiation. Molecule absorbs radiation only when natural frequency of vibration of some part of molecule is same as frequency of incident radiation. For example, HCl molecule has a natural frequency of vibration at 2885.9 cm inverse. So HCl will absorb radiation only when radiation will contain this region. If this region is missing in incident radiation, HCl cannot absorb any kind of radiation. Second necessary condition is that molecule not only should contain electric dipole but also have to be in condition of dipole movement. An electric dipole is defined as a couple of opposite charges separated by a distance. An electric dipole moment is a measure of the separation of positive and negative electric charges within a system, that is, a measure of the system's overall polarity. For example, molecules like H2O, HCl, and NaCl contains electric dipole. So these molecules will be infrared active. Molecules like O2, N2, and Cl2 does not contain any electric dipole. So these compounds will be infrared invisible. So the final verdict is that any compound will absorb infrared radiation only when it will fulfill these necessary conditions. Thank you.